What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have some of the New York Toy Fair reveals from Mattel and the WWE action figures that we love so much. Um, they, they went live last night and they kind of, you know, told us, they made like an announcement saying, get ready, stay tuned to WWE.com and all of our Instagram pages as we will be doing the reveals. So these are some of the big reveals that were coming from New York Toy Fair for the WWE. I don't have any AEW news for you guys. That'll probably be in the next couple days or so, probably tomorrow. But today we do have some WWE reveals and they're epic. I think we got some great stuff. We're going to cover it all through here, guys, and we'll probably get some new WWE stuff in the next couple days as well, but this is just the first day of New York Toy Fair reveals that we're going to get through, so let's go ahead and dive in, guys. Got a lot of epic stuff. Let's start off with the next two Ultimate Editions, guys. This is Ultimate Edition Series 5, John Cena and Becky Lynch. I think these two look great. I'm very excited for this. The only thing that I would say is that Becky Lynch's hair looks a little bit too orange, but the rest of these look so good. I I love the way these look. That John Cena, I'm so glad that we're getting an Ultimate Edition Series 5 John Cena. I love that we're getting this attire. This is obviously his 2008 attire, and it looks so good. The freaking hustle, loyalty, respect. I love the bicep bands we got going on. I, I love everything. It kind of looks like, if I zoom in, it looks like they actually sculpted sweat bands. So those wristbands are sculpted on. So the, the hustle, loyalty, respect wristbands are sculpted on. I love that they got the chain gang respect on the on the under right there. Great details. You got the hat. You get three interchangeable head sculpts. You got sort of, you got a yelling face, you got a smiling face, and then you got like a straight face there. And you do get, you know, you can't see me hands, which I don't know why they include it. It's kind of like a like a ricochet hand instead of a wide open hand, but it looks like they're going to include both. You're also going to get the WWE Championship. So overall, I am just really thrilled for this figure. And I know this figure's feet are going to be really, really good because of the, uh, you know, the ankle tooling, the foot tooling, because we've seen this with Brock Lesnar and Ronda Rousey. They have a lot more sturdy feel to them. They don't, you know, the, the ankle crunch, the, the older John Cena elites, which this would be based off of as far as the longer jorts and the uh, the ankles there, they're not going to be like that. They're going to be the Ultimate Edition style, so they should be way more sturdy. This John Cena is fantastic. And then Becky Lynch looks just as good. Again, I'm not big. I think these are prototypes. That's probably why they look a little bit off and why the hair looks a little bit off and everything. But you can kind of see what they're going for there, the interchangeable arms and everything. I really dig this, man. I think it's going to be great. You got Becky two belts right there. Uh, really good stuff, man. I, I can't wait to see what it looks like. I know the head sculpt looks a little wacky right now, but I think it'll be fixed once the figure finally gets here with the true effects. Then again, you know, with Brock Lesnar and Shawn Michaels, they weren't exactly fixed, but you know what? People have mixed a mixed emotions about both of those, so I guess we'll just have to find out about that. But there is those two figures, guys. We finally get to see Elite Series 76 in the flesh. Pulling up right here, guys, you will see Heavy Machinery, and we do have better images of those. These are just them on display at New York Toy Fair. You you can, see, you can see that they are going to come with the Yolo County Tag Team Championships, the Cardboard Championships right there, and I'm going to bring up better images of those for you guys in studio so you guys can see exactly how they look and everything. And I thought that Otis's, you know, uh, articulation would be sort of a challenge, but after looking at him here, I think that he's actually going to be a lot better articulated than we thought. I think he's going to be pretty strong. I think these figures look just like Heavy Machinery, so Otis, I think, looks a little bit better, but I think both of them look pretty good. And heavy machinery is looking fantastic. Look how gigantic those jackets are, my God. But the, these look great, man. I think the, the heavy machinery renders look just as good as they do here in plastic figure form. Fully completed. So there is heavy machinery. Next up, guys, we are going to take a look at the line that we were talking about. You guys remember that line that we talked about to Target that was going to be longer developed. You know, it's going to be established. It's going to have a long shelf life and everything like that. Similar to defining moments and entrance greats. Well, here it is, guys. We are bringing back the Mattel WWE Elite Collection Legends series target exclusives so here we are back with that line you can see the classic packaging in the background and the first series is going to be greg the hammer valentine Bobby Heenan, Razor Ramon, and Sting. And this is epic news. I know a ton of people just miss the crap out of the Legends line. So hopefully we get some re-releases out of this line because there are so many figures that we missed out on, especially that Eddie Guerrero. I need to see that Eddie Guerrero re-released. But these look great, dude. These, these look so fantastic. I love the classic packaging. And I think all four of these guys look good, man. I think they're fantastic. 
Uh, I, I really don't know what else to say. I think Greg looks so good and Sting looks so good. I love like the, the classic moment we get with Bobby Heenan here. Just really, really good stuff here from this wave. I, I am expecting big things from this wave. Again, this is going to be replacing the Network Spotlight Target series. So uh, I guess we're going to start getting flashbacks again. I know that's really big for a lot of collectors. So I hope you guys are happy that collect the flashback figures that you're really excited for this line. So hopefully we get some gems out of this line, which I think we will. But this is not the only new line that we're going to be seeing here, guys. There are some other lines in here, or there's another line in here that I'm super excited about for the Walmart series, which we'll get into. But all four of these figures in this wave look really, really solid. I think they look great. Pulling up here, guys, we're going to be talking about that next line, and that next line is going to be the Walmart-exclusive Decade of Domination Elite line, and this line looks so sick. I'm super hyped for this one. It looks like we're going to be getting, uh, I don't know if it's going to be four. I'm guessing it would be four figures in the wave, but right now we just have digital renderings of these figures. You guys can see there on display we have Natalia. The Fiend is not included in that. The Fiend is a part of Elite Series 77, so he will not be in the Decade of Domination, or he might be unless they give us two Fiends, which would be really weird. I think that's still Elite Series 77, though, but you do have the Decade of Domination, and you have have John Cena, you have Natalia, you have Randy Orton, Mark Henry, and Undertaker, and we're going to pull up images of each of those figures here as we talk about them, and I think that this wave is so sick, man. I, I am so hyped for this. Flashback Natalia with her Divas Championship. Really crazy that we're going to be getting this figure. And uh, I think it's going to be cool that we're going to have like a really throwback Natalia in her, you know, her old look in the, you know, the new women's articulation with the double jointed knees. And our Elite 74 is just like that. So that's going to be really awesome. Not only that, dude, we get a freaking flashback John Cena, which is kind of odd. You know, I don't know why they always include this. This figure right here would be way more accurate if they just gave him a plain black t-shirt because he did wear that attire on TV. I don't know why they're giving him this specific hat and this chain lock with this jersey because this jersey is not accurate to the time that he wore this hat and this chain, but I understand it. You got to get around like the copyright laws and stuff, but he did wear a plain black shirt with this look and Converse's, so I guess you could you could have done that, but I think it's still a bomb-ass figure. Really looking forward to it. I'm all for John Cena's, guys. I, I you know, you, you know how I am, so uh, I, I'm looking to get to that 100 elite mark for John Cena, but I'm really hyped for this one. Next up, guys, we have Randy Orton, and this is a Randy Orton that I've wanted a custom of for so very long, and we're finally getting it here in this Walmart exclusive, you know, dominance of the decade uh, elite line, and it looks so good, man. The freaking flashback Randy Orton from 2002, 2003, and it looks like it's going to be coming with two interchangeable head sculpts. You're going to get the, you know, long bangs Randy Orton, which is kind of like when he first appeared on television, and then you have the shorter hair, which is shortly after he had first appeared on television. So it's sort of like a 0203 look of Randy Orton right here with the arm sling, and he's got his classic navy ish royal trunks with the Orton in yellow. Just such a freaking nostalgic figure, man. I can't wait to add this up on the Orton collection shelf. This is sort of the freaking Orton that I've been missing on my shelf, so I'm, I'm really hyped to add this one. We also get a Dead Man Undertaker with the gray and the entrance posing hands, and I'm guessing this head sculpt's going to be very similar to the first entrance greats Undertaker figure. I think this one's going to look so great up on the shelf as well. Um, I know if you put a coat on this, hoe, it's going to look even better. So this one's really great. I love the interchangeable hands with this one. And then the last figure is a Nation of Domination, Mark Henry that I know everyone's been asking for for so very long. So Nation of Domination, uh, Mark Henry with his his barbell there is looking very, very good. Hopefully that figure is a lot better than older Mark Henry's, which we've discussed. So hopefully that one will be a lot better. But uh, So it looks like Mark Henry be getting a lot of figures, man. Like If you look back at all the Mark Henry's we got, it's kind of ridiculous. But there is Mark Henry. We did get that. So we have a new Target exclusive wave, the Legend Series, and then we have the Decade of Domination. I love both waves. I think both waves are so good. I cannot freaking wait for it. But that's not all, guys. We also have some basic figures, but I don't want to get into those first. I want to get into Elite Series 76 real quick before we move on. Starting off with Elite Series 76, guys, you guys can see here on display with Elite Series 75, we have Braun Strowman, we have Christian, we have Lacey, we have John Cena, we have Billy Kay over there, which is that exclusive, I do believe, and then we do have some renders that I'm going to pull up on the screen for all of them, but let's just start off with Braun Strowman. I think Braun Strowman, he's exactly what we thought he was, guys. Didn't we say that he would be shirtless? We said that he would have the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Trophy, and he has Timberland, so I mean, we nailed it to a T. 
I'm so proud of that. I think we got it right on the head. We nailed the head. You know, we hit the head, nail on the head with that one. I think that Braun Strowman looks good. Um, one thing I will say is, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the angle of this image. It kind of looks like his head sculpt may be a little bit too big for his body. But I really love this new torso we're getting for Braun Strowman. I love the way it looks overall. I think it's really, really strong. I think it looks great and fantastic. So that is something that looks so good, man. I, I really love the Timberlands. I think this is probably the best Braun Strowman to date, and he could end up coming with a cloth t-shirt as well to add to it. So I think this is the best Braun Strowman to date. Next up, guys, we do have Lacey Evans, and Lacey Evans looks just like her render. I will say that her head sculpt isn't as good as I thought it would be. Um, I don't think that it's completely perfect like I thought it looked in the in the render image, but I still think it's a really strong figure. I think it looks like her. Um, it's just not you know to a T that I thought, so that is kind of weird. Um, the last two figures in this set are Heavy Machinery, which we already took a look at, so I'm not going to go back on those, but they are on that other display, not here in the in the image with them all on display. So Lacey Evans, again, looks pretty solid. You know, I think it's still going to be a good figure. I love her boots, so I think that's great. We also have Christian, guys, who is the Chase variant, so Christian looks good. The regular version is the white shirt with the purple slash blue pants right there, which looks really good. I love this head sculpt. I think it looks just like Christian. And then we have the Chase variant version with the yellowish trunks, which also looks good. So both versions of Christian is looking good. I know a lot of people wanted like a flashback Christian or like a, you know, 2005-ish Christian to be the Chase variant, but that just wasn't realistic. The only reason that worked for Ch uh, Shelton Benjamin is because it was the same exact figure. All you had to do was add some blonde hair to the bald head of Sh Shelton Benjamin and then just change the trunks up. So I don't see how that would be possible with this Christian given the different hairstyles and stuff because they don't really retool. They just completely repaint with those chase variant you know versions which you know it does it does suck but you know it's i understand it completely and so uh the last figure in elite series 76 guys is john cena and i love this figure i think this figure looks damn good um it looks like instead of putting anything on the jersey they just left the jersey blank which i think is a great idea i think that was an excellent idea i guess you could have put cena there may be cena on the back possibly in a wrestlemania logo but i haven't seen the back of the figure i'm just guessing that they probably just left it blank which makes complete sense to me but I love this man I think it's great I love that head sculpt I think you could easily do so many fix-ups with this you could paint the belt you could switch the arms you can do all kinds of stuff guys we're gonna get a lot of great Cena fix-ups out of this figure and the decade of dominance elite Walmart exclusive Cena and I can't wait to add them up on the shelf man so John Cena looks good I think this whole wave looks good of elite series 76 and after that guys we do have a brand new playset. we have a brand new Reckon slam Ambulance, which is an ambulance playset, which looks so good, man. This looks freaking epic. You got the Slambulance. Um, I kind of hate that they put Slambulance on the side right there. I kind of wish I just said Ambulance, but you could easily acetone off that SL and it would say Ambulance, so I don't know if that's something you'd like to do. You could even acetone off the WWE logo on the side if you wanted. Probably put your own logo if you wanted to do that. I'm just trying to spitball like creative ideas for it. But uh, it does come with a red stretcher. I think that looks excellent. There's also another photo of it somewhere that I'll probably plug in the video, which shows like a uh, like uh, people driving it and and you know some figures around it. So I'll definitely plug that thing in. Um, but the Slammy looks looks good, man. I think we're gonna get some epic usage out of this. I think the top of it breaks open. I think the back of it breaks open. So you get a lot of playability out of this, and I can't wait to review this thing and get some usage out of it for the pick fed. And we also have a render image of the Fiend. Now the Fiend looks good. This is kind of crazy because I'm going to pull up all three images. I'm going to have the image that we got earlier where it was just the gray render image. I'm going to put up the image where I rendered it myself and I colored it in for us and, you know, kind of got an idea of what it would look like colored. And then I'm going to put up the new render image with the with the lantern up there. And I think this is really awesome how you can see the step-by-step -step progression and how close the colored image looks to the one that Mattel has done with the render. And you can see, obviously, mine is missing the tattoos. But I think this looks really good, man. I think the Fiend figure, when it finally releases, it's probably going to be the most sought-after figure, I think. Probably, it could be ever. I think it could be because of how awesome it looks and how, like, the new sculpting and the mask and everything. They're definitely going to have to bring their A-game when creating that figure. I know they will, and I know it's going to look epic. But there is the Fiend figure, which they did show. So it looks like they are going to be including the Lantern when we first get him. They could have a prototype on display by the end of the weekend. We don't know just yet. That's just what we have so far right here. So that is epic, man. I think this is great. 
I'm excited for it. And we do have some basics and some uh, battle packs that I'm going to pull through right quick. Um, you do have uh, Bianca Belair, you have Braun Strowman, you have EC3, you have Shinsuke Nakamura's, Ch Nakamura. you have Shinsuke Nakamura's Chase and Regular Edition, and then you have The Rock. These are all Basic Series 107. Pretty standard, nothing too crazy. We already knew about Bianca Belair. And then you have the Battle Pack 65 with Velveteen Dream and Ricochet. I wish this Velveteen Dream was an elite. I love this. You know, we obviously have an elite of that ricochet, but I like the new head sculpt or at least the new hair tooling that we got here with the cornrows or braids that we have for Velveteen Dream. You also have a Battle Pack 65 Mustafa Ali and Kevin Owens from that one match. Was it at the Royal Rumble last year or was it I can't or was it Fast Lane maybe where him, Daniel Bryan, and Kevin Owens tore the house down in that match? I love that match. That's a great match. Definitely go check out that match if you haven't seen it. With the white tape and the updated tattoos. And then we have Battle Pack 65, Matt and Jeff Hardy, which is uh, unfortunate that they have the same exact head sculpts that they have had, and then they have crutches because they got injured, I guess. I don't know what that's about, but that is uh, all of Battle Packs 65. And then uh, I think that's it for Basics and Battle Packs. I don't think we have any other images of them, at least I don't think. And then we have some random Basic Series 108 Alistair Black, I think. But besides that, guys, I think that... Oh, yeah, and then we have these weird, like, Beast Mode figures. Um, it, pulling them up on the screen, you guys can see we get these Beast Mode figures where they're, like, little bitty tiny figures, and then they, I guess they transform or something into, the, like, a bigger... So here you have the Finn Balor one where it's, like, Finn Balor, and then he turns into the demon. I don't know if this turns into this or if you put that on the inside of that. I don't know, but they're, like, little mystery grab bag deals that we've seen in the past. So those look pretty cool. I guess I'll I'll probably grab a couple at, at retail just to see what they what they do, what they're about. Maybe they're killing it. But um, that is going to do it, guys. That is pretty much all of the reveals that we have for day one. If we get any more news, I'll definitely post it up to you guys. I think all the images are released for today. I tried to wait on this thing uh, to the best of my ability so you guys could see. But I think we're going to still get some epic reveals tomorrow. We still have AEW figures getting posted tomorrow. We have a lot of things coming out tomorrow. So... That is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy all of the images and everything like that. I didn't post this morning because I knew these images were coming, so I was going to post later on once they were all up. But I'm going to get the hell out of here. Pretty long video here, but we had a lot of ish to cover. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.